All right, guys, so here is the front door right here in the basement. And do you want to do the honors of leading us in here? Or... Right into the hill cave. All right, look at this. It even has the sign right here. It's beautiful. So we open it up. And holy mother of God in heaven, on earth, and in heaven at the exact same time. All right, guys, so as we enter, we have the Masters of the WWE Universe in here. But first of all, shout out to the Fig Heel. We're in the Fig Heel, the Heel Cave here. You can follow him on Instagram. He's got a YouTube channel. He's on Whatnot. He's got a TikTok page. Very successful over here, man. And I want you guys to go give him a follow. I greatly appreciate it. And I appreciate him having us here in the Heel Cave as we take a look at his ridiculous collection, much like the Fig Vault, much like myself and other people, man. Uh, we have a lot. There's a lot to go through, but it looks absolutely incredible i've seen it in videos i've seen it in photography and things and to be here in person is kind of surreal how do you feel i feel like i can't talk as fast as you do but man you just hammered on everything <laughs> so do you want me to give you this a little rundown right yeah now? let's do it let's do so, it so so people always ask me like how i organize everything so i'm gonna i'm gonna let you know so over here i have like as you called it the basic wall you're like well you got all these damn basics but i love first time in a line guys and legends so that's pretty much everything that's here is first time in the line or legends like Macho Man and Hulk Hogan, but I think I'm opening them up soon. Um, I got retros down here and then basically stuff that just doesn't really blend in anywhere else in the room. But I also don't want to just throw into storage because I like it enough. Um, I put here. Looks absolutely incredible. I'm not going to lie, bro. The first time in the line collection is kind of crazy. I mean, you got like... It's kind of sad, but it's also cool that, like, you know, you can look at a bunch of these people, like, they're not even in WWE anymore. Yeah. Like, you know, that their yep. figure comes out, and then they they bounce, or they get cut, or they're sadly released, and then you have their first ever figure, men on cards, still in here. And are you saying that, like, this is the first Macho Man basic ever? From no, 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 no. Just, like, at the time, I was collecting Legends. Okay, so, okay, first okay, time okay. in the line... And then Legends. Like, I see, I see, you know I mean? see. But these, I miss these. The T-shirt series were awesome, the Walmart. And then Kmart, I think, also did it, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. But I really enjoyed that set. There were some good Zigglers well, in there and stuff like that. Yeah, and what I loved about them was, like, the back of the card was cut. Yeah, So that, like, I was like, I, I and love see, that's, having it. That's something that I talk about a lot with Jax figures, man. Back in the day when I used yeah. to collect Austin, yeah. and they'd never put the damn skull on the back of the vest. Yeah. As a kid, that would piss me off. So now, if they didn't put a, a skull on the back of a vest today, oh, they'd never hit at the end of that. Oh, you ain't kidding, man. White. Yeah, look, look, it's, like, weird. Damn. It looks like he's got a ski mask yeah, on. Yeah, what is that? He's got pantyhose on his it's head. It's sealed. The pantyhose exclusive. <laughs> That's exactly, it looks like he's about to rob a bank. Like Nick Gage or something. <laughs> All right, man, so we go from the first time in the line wall in the Masters of the WWE yeah. Universe. I feel like everybody that collects this line only collected it, like, men on card and, and complete. It's like whoever collected this line... They were like fully in on. They were like no turning around. There's like nobody that dabbled. It was like all in or all out. I 100 percent agree. And I feel like to me, like I had no interest in opening them. Uh -huh. If they were if they were loose, I don't think that they would have the appeal as the whole original Master of the Universe carding. So yeah, I like them a lot. I, I what's cool is I've seen. Um, actually, I just got gifted this by Joe. Actually, so huge shout out to him. But he was, like, kit-bashing them with Superstars figures and turning yeah. them into their own figures. Yes. And that was that's pretty cool. Yes. That, that that's what I was this. saying. He, like, he, he does some fix-ups and customs, and he's he likes that. And honestly, I think they look great, and it's smart. But I'm just such a stickler. Like, I like the factory official he's, this way. He uh, discriminates against customs, is what he says. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Never that. Never <laughs> he's that. discriminating against custom figures. I think I'm just... Attack I'm just, him. <laughs> I think that I'm just very particular now. No, he likes everything that if it didn't come from the factory, he doesn't, you know, everybody has their own rule set. You know, I, I see a figure and I'm like, all right, immediately I'm going to take that, put a different head sculpt yeah. on it or what have you. And he takes it at fa face value, which I think is cool that everybody has their own rules for their own collections. But up here, man, we do have so many different elites men on card here. And I love how their library style or bookcase style or whatever the hell you want to say here. Because, you know, you can, like, pull it out like a book. Elite 72, Roddy Strong. Boom, there he is. I like that. I think. the back of it. All yeah, the that's... stats. Like, I don't know. I think this thing is cool. It is cool. I like I, I like that it's so uniform, too. I, I don't know. I feel like if I had it like this, it wouldn't be as clean. But, I mean, you got uh, some Elite 67 through here. And I'm noticing, like... So, do you pick and choose throughout the Elite lines? It's not every single Elite. No. I pick and choose... Um, well, I pick and choose mint on cards. So, same thing. Legends and first time in the line, guys. Or if it's a chase that I like. For instance, so 
I mean, there some, we go. Some, That's would the man right there. some would argue he's a legend, but yes. at this time he wasn't. This isn't a first time, but this is an awesome chase. So it is. I, it I is couldn't. Beautiful. This is a. I think I ranked the chases one time um, in my ranking video series, yeah. and I put it at go buy it. So this is a go buy it all day long. There. Incredible. That's absolutely beautiful right there. That Vince McMahon's going to probably be worth a, a decent amount of dough nowadays, but. Yeah, man, I, I, I like the book show. blur his uh, face in all my red, videos. That's right. <laughs> the elite redacted. And then we go up here. You have, like, some more modern elites moving through Elite 97 through 98. You got 100 up here. Uh, you don't have the full set of Elite 100 on card. That's I don't. I don't. You didn't like that Becky Lynch? Wasn't a fan. Yeah, that the eyes were a bit anime looking. I wasn't a big fan either, but... We do have uh, Elite 106 up here. Got the Chase Paul Bear, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Just, I actually just copped that on a toy hunt recently, so that's good. Then we got some Toy Biz right here. I, I love these. I used to buy them from Family Dollar like yep. all the yeah. time, man. Yep. So I used to go in Family Dollar. And this Roddy Piper, I remember when they revealed the Ultimate, I was super hyped for it because I called it the uh, – I was like, that's Toy Biz Ultimate Edition Roddy yeah, Piper. And so that, that always like hit home with me, and I talked to Steve about that. So I'm hoping – I'm hoping that we could get some more Toy Biz esque Ultimate Editions in the Monday Night Wars line. I would love that. I would love, honestly, some more things like we, we're getting the Harlem Heat. Yeah. Um, we've gotten, you know, Macho Madness Macho. I would like to get a DDP. I don't understand why we haven't you know really what? gotten. I think you're. What if they redo the Nitro one? What if they just well, that's, redo that one? I think that that's one? the biggest problem. I think the biggest problem is. The Nitro um, Arena, and they don't want to release that stuff, um, not as a punishment, but as, like, you know, like, a, well, they, they, they want to give incentive for, like, to back these things. And if they just release everything anyway, it gives no incentive. I mean, you're not wrong. And also, you know, they could do, like, the skinny jeans, right? Like, instead of doing yeah, the – they they basically did, what, the Elite 36 – and that um, the Legends figures, basically those two figures in Ultimate Form, yeah. which is a look that we've already seen previously. They should have done the skinny jean mold with the rib wrap. It yeah. would have been a perfect Ultimate. So the figure selection is just another reason why that Nitro stage failed. Very sad day. I think about it to this day. I legitimately wake up in the morning, and it's like kids and family, and then right under that, it's Nitro stage. I, I'm right there with <laughs> you, man. So take me through down here now. So um, this this wall is usually like uh, more stuff from my childhood or, or – you know, whatever fits. So I used to have everything in order of release, but since these are so big and they don't fit on the top shelves, I have them down here. So LJN's on the bottom. Got the lubes here from WCW, WWF Hasbro. Next to that is original San Francisco Toymakers, WCW, CMLL, AAA, um, more WCW. Bendoms, the original WWF Bendoms. And right next to that, I had to put the new Bendies. I thought it flowed pretty well. Nice, nice. Toy Biz, like got like 27 Danhausens. Way too many Danhausens. <laughs> Way too many. Then we got the BCAs. Walking over here, we do have some legends that separate these two shelves. And you, I see you have some retros. You know, as collectors, you're constantly kind of like shoving stuff in places, you know, trying to fill those gaps. Well, here, pull out one of those legends. Uh, right here? Yeah. And we have more elites behind them. <laughs> now it's like that uh, that Walmart toy hunt I went on recently. Yeah. They had like figures, and then you pull the figures back, and there's more figures back there. So, so behind the legends is uh, I did exclusives. Okay, so ruthless aggression. So is it every single shelf? So I just come up yeah, here and I pull yeah. this out, and then it's just oh, uh, yep, there he is, Shane just Shawn Michaels. So the reason <laughs> I did that, um, besides space, was uh, I have a lot of fun on TikTok with people asking me for certain things. And I like the idea of not having everything being able to see in every video. So people, you know what I mean? Give some... For sure, yeah. Some, You're not wrong. No, I know what you mean. For people to look forward to, like little hidden things. I love how... A good thing about your collection, man, is it's kind of like... I don't know. It's kind of like a museum. I mean, it's very unique in that, you know, you walk around. It's like a different era. It's a different company. It's a different... You know what I'm saying? It's a different style of figure. Yeah. And I think that's what makes it really, really unique. Like, obviously, most of my collection is more modern day, more modern day collecting. Yeah. Um, and I guess, for me, it's not about having, you know, like, the originals from my childhood. It's more about, like, getting a representation of that character in the best form of a yeah. figure possible. And so that's kind of, like, what I see my collection like. Yeah. But again, like we stated, it's all about the rules and, you it know, is. people people tying back to different nostalgia and different things like that. These are also very underrated, man. These don't get enough Beautiful. love, man. I think this figure, the homicide one, is incredible. Dude, the, these are so underrated. I think a lot of pick fetters know, like, if you're posing these guys around, a lot of people have made some bangers with it. Yeah. 
but they, they these are super underrated definitely ahead of their time but yeah so i just like having a little bit of everything on display i wish i could display everything for sure um like even like the ruthless like i love ruthless aggression figures uh -huh. uh, but I had to resort to just one of each character on display. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you get 78 John Cena's. Oh, my God. I, I mean, think, nobody, I think needs, nobody, right nobody needs 100 John Cena's, guys. I keep trying to tell you not to collect all these John Cena's. And they just keep collecting them and putting them out. And I don't I don't know who's buying them. It's, it's, really, them. it's really a problem out here. Buying them and putting them on your wall. <laughs> we got Legends in the corner over here. We got the Then Now Forever 3-pack right here. I'd really like to see some of these guys re-released. That Sting, I never liked that Sting. I thought it was garbage. Really? What yeah. What you I, like about it? I, I didn't like the torso selection. I don't like the head sculpt. And that's really about where it goes. Like, I just feel like it... I, I don't know. It just doesn't capture the likeness. I think the Luger and Macho are much better. I don't know. They just don't look as out there. But, I don't know. They dropped the ball on a lot of the Sting figures. Like, obviously, the Defining Moments is amazing. Hall of Fame figure is amazing. Um, yeah, I there's, there's Defining the Moments right there. Yeah, the Legends one, the unreleased one. I'm surprised you don't have that. As much unreleased stuff as you have and prototypes and stuff that you have is incredible. But right here in the middle, I like this shelf a lot. It's kind of – I have a shelf dedicated to suited figures, but you have way more than me. I think I have all these, but on this other side, man, you got some that I have never had the privilege of owning. I love the suits. Yeah, dude, they're just so nice, man. They really are. You have Teddy Long here. I've never had the opportunity to have that one. I've never had the opportunity to have Booker T. I think I've had parts of Jim Ross. I had to build him out of somebody else. But I always love the Oklahoma pin. I really don't even know how they got away with that, to be honest with you. It's because it's so subtle, but it does. It says no, OU, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, that's the logo right yeah. there. That is the logo. So I don't know how they did that. I like how you have Nicholas up front right there, which is cool. So, like, this one's going to get moved when I get the, uh, you know, the uh, referee, Teddy Long. Okay. And then Pat's going to get moved when I get the John Cone referee to go right behind Nicholas. Okay, okay that would be beautiful. That's a perfect pick right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even got Vicky back there, which is nice. I think I've, yeah, so like I used to have all the suits in there, but now I've since moved them. Like I have Miz over here with Maurice. I got, uh, I mean, they, they've actually MVP kind of, with, with, they've uh, like added up, right? Like they, yeah. they used to be kind of, you know, little numbers. Now it's, I mean, it's grown. There's so many now, but you even got the Cody in the suit, but I, I wasn't a big fan of that figure. So I kind of, I didn't really like it either. I own it, but I just like Cody, you know, I'm a Cody crybaby. Yeah. I wanted to like it so bad because I really wanted to put it on display, but it just, I, I didn't like it. Now, these figures right here are some that I really enjoy, and that is the Loyal Subjects. These figures right here, man, are underrated as hell. Now, I hate that we didn't get as many, you know? I, I guess, did they get discontinued, I guess? I, they, I they they redid the whole line. They, like, re, like they went from this style uh -huh. to that style. Oh, so they just made them smaller? They're not even really smaller. Same size. It's just, like, the scale of the muscles is different. Interesting. Very... Well, they, dude, these are badass. I never got the Sting, so I'll be taking him home. But the, <laughs> but the, I, I have a, like a set of these, and he always looked like uh, the Roman Reigns loyal subject. Always looked like Shun Yu from Mulan. To Absolutely, me. 100%. like just a, yeah, it doesn't look like Roman. Like a hundred percent. And then I forget the name of these. The mystery minis. Mystery minis, mystery minis. Very unique. I like those. And th there's another set. I don't know if you have any, but the what are they called? They came out of the pro wrestling crates, like the pro wrestling crates oh, figures. Um... The uh, micro brawlers, not micro brawlers. The other ones, the ones that were kind of bigger scale. They made a Rollins. They made a Triple oh, H. Um, yeah, I do have those. The uh, Slam Stars. Is that what they're called? Yeah. I like somebody. Mm -hmm. I bought some on eBay, and somebody included two of those in there, yeah. and I was like, "Dude, these are sick." It's the same sculptor. Okay. Okay. That Brian, makes a lot Brian of sense. He's, uh, he does uh, major. Uh, no, big rubber guys now. Okay. Well, they got a talented. They got a talented guy over there. Then they did good. I think. I don't want to say that. I, th I think he did the macho, but I could be wrong. Sandman, will he be revealed at WWE World? We'll have to see. Now, at the time of posting this video, we will already have known that. Yeah. So I guess if not, I'll have to cue in something I that's, think that's derogatory. An absolute, and I think that we're gonna. I think we're gonna see uh, headbangers. Okay, in the Legends line, or just I don't know. okay. Maybe in Monday Night Wars. Okay, that'll be dope. In Series Four or Five, whatever. <laughs> Up here, we do have Ultimate Cody with the ramp, which I love. And then we do have Logan Paul here, both Mattel Creations exclusive. Uh, some would argue that uh, this Cody's not very good. I think that the new one's better than this Absolutely. one. So, yeah, that's the thing. I like how you have the boxes on the sides here. That's very clean as well. And then you have Muhammad Ali, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive here, which looks very good as well. Very unique pack. You know, I don't know. I, I did a, I actually did like a skit in my review of the video, like pitching the, the idea of yeah. Muhammad Ali. It's like, there's no way that he was the number one option. No. Like, he had to be, like, third or fourth on the option list. But, 
nonetheless, man, up top, we do They're have... their money's worth, though. Oh, for sure. They, get, they gotta print it out. But we have more sets up here. It's like every time I look in the room, man, I see something new and I want to look at it. And I obviously won't have time to detail every single corner of the collection, but I still wanted to... Okay, that's beautiful. You love to there. see that. We just got more stuff and more stuff. Beautiful. All right, if anybody watched my Monday Night Wars Elite review of Stone Cold Steve Austin, that full set, man, if you look at these pants, this is the way the pants need to look on that Austin. And I, try, I tried to describe what I was talking about. This is a perfect kind of, I mean, there's too many wrinkles in it, obviously, but this is kind of what I'm talking about. Where's that Austin at? It's over here, isn't it? It's on top of this yeah, right shelf here. right here. Yeah. Look at this right here. This is the difference. So Austin's pants weren't baggy like this, man. They looked more like this. They, like, hug the boot. They have, like, again, this is probably too wrinkly, a little bit too baggy. But still way more accurate, way better than this, in my personal opinion. And that's, I think that's a good example of what I was talking about. He's got, like, a, a step down from snow pants on. Yeah, I just, I don't, I, his pants weren't that baggy, man. Yeah. They weren't that baggy. No, he always wore tight pants. Yeah, every time. Up here, man, behind this three-pack, we actually have even more Ultimate Editions. And if I move something and you want to beat me up, I completely understand. You just let me know, or we can just throw hands. But we do have Retro Fest figures down here. We some have some packs. more Ultimates right here. Oh, yeah, dude, these are awesome. I like these a lot. I remember, I think I'm complete on this line. I want to say, yeah, I think I am complete on this line. I hate that it ended, you know. Um, but it's kind of weird because Mattel, they release all these sets, and then they discontinue them. And, you know, they can't go forever, but it's like, damn, I'd like to, you know, have, like, a full set. They, they do a good job, though, of reviving lines when you think about it. That is true. I, I mean, they're they're pretty creative behind the behind the wall there. I think they they do a really good job of you know getting creative with figure selections. You got more figures behind these. Or do you have a full men on card ultimate edition set? No, no, no. no? I just do the le just legends. Okay, just legends, yeah. just legends. And uh, Charlotte Flair up there just because it was an exclusive. Where's she at? She was behind the raw. Oh, side. okay, okay, okay. Down here we have some entrance greats figures. We got Finn Balor. We got uh, this cool little Sting. Is that? Does he have a parachute? Yep, it's a it's like a kite. Oh, uh, very cool. Very, uh, dude, if you gave a kid a kite today, he'd throw that shit in the trash. This I had as a kid. I always loved this. This I found at a toy con. I thought it was the funniest thing I've ever seen. I that, it was hilarious. Yeah, so, it's so great. I love that. Perfect spot for it. I also like the giant TTL Austin back here. Mm -hmm. This looks awesome. That's a great sculpt for the time, too. And I see the dusty ring back there. Yep. I remember seeing him. Every time I found him, the world heavyweight title was missing, so... It was a big problem. Yeah, dude, everybody, <laughs> they were like, I'm not paying $80 for the belt. And then they would just jack it. Got Men on Cord, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Sting. We have the Shop AEW Sting. I actually don't have this. Uh, it sold out before I could get to it, unfortunately. Going to have to jump into the aftermarket. We also have more Shop AEW. Do you have all the Shop AEW exclusives? Yep. Beautiful. He's the only one I'm missing, though. And it's... um. The, the other ones are all chases and rare editions. Okay, beautiful. Do you have the, do you have the one of five hundred Cody? No, it's right. the only one. Okay. Yeah, I wish. So you have every chase? No, of the old ones up to I think series. What's it? Thirteen. Okay. Yeah, I'm missing quite a few. There's some that I've always like. I used to go after. I used to chase after and <laughs> try and get them all, but now I'm kind of like, eh, find <laughs> this one. I don't know. <laughs> LP four. It's kind of hard to find though. Yeah, that I got that from ringside. Wow, and Jungle Boy too. Both of those are pretty difficult to find, I feel like. I found Jungle Boy. You found Jungle Boy? No, no, um, no, not this one. One. Oh, it was Taz. Sorry. Oh, you found Taz? Taz. Online? I feel like online that's a good find, for though. like 30 bucks before it even came out. It was like worded wrong, and then it came and it was like an FEP sample. And I was like, did somebody steal this? And I just bought it for <laughs> they 30 bucks. They, <laughs> they definitely did. That was stolen. You stole that. That's like from the factory. These figures right here, these are Power Town. I have never reviewed these. I get a lot of people asking me to review these. I never bought them. I never had them in hand. Um, they didn't. I reached out to see if I could get a set to review. I think they left me on red. I, I can't remember, but uh, these are beautiful. They actually look way better in person than I was expecting. I would like to do my own like in-depth review of these. And uh, just first impressions, I like the detailing. I like the scale, even if they are a little bit big. I still like, like, I was expecting them to be shorter than a basic figure. And so, yeah, here's an Austin basic up next to them. So, yeah, they're they're a bit too big, maybe. But so if it, the shorter guys are kind of in scale. But then uh -huh. if you bring Austin over here to Brody, it's like... Yeah, I mean, he kind of towers over. Yeah. It's just like the proportions, right? The proportion, But they're still, like, awesome. They look like a figure that you would see in, like, a movie if that yeah. makes sense you know yeah. or a cartoon yeah. like like if you watch dexter's lab and he had a wrestling figure that's yeah. what i feel like you would see like Absolutely. something like that and they're so, heavy yeah they have a real heft to them which i appreciate i like figures that are hefty so full set looks good right here i would like to review them the titles look good i'm just you know i'm just 
quick 30 second glance at him and picking him up. I do enjoy what I'm seeing here, but without getting him under the lights and under the review, I couldn't give him a full, you know, hard description, but I like what I see at the least. And then above that, we do have the Superstars line, which is a line I'm very sporadic on. I, col I want to collect them all, but I can never find them. And then when I do find them, I talk myself out of them. And I, ha I have a decent amount of them. And I want to say I'm I'm almost complete, but there are some. That, like Kevin Nash and Scott Hall, I don't have. Um, I don't have. I think Series 3, I'm like missing the whole set. So there's like some that I have and some that I don't. But they're, it's such a great line. It is, it, but I think you hit the nail on the head, man. It's, it's finding them is the tough part. Yeah. And then in this corner, we also have some legends. So it seems like you have kind of capped each corner with some legends figures. Is yeah, that, that's my favorite line right now. I like that. I like that a lot. I think we're in for some good legends. We know Legends Series 23 is coming. We know that. Uh, I don't think we know Legends Series 24 just yet. I don't think. Three-minute warning is in 23, right? Yep, that's correct. We were talking about that. So that's, that's a fig That's a two-pack. I'm shocked we didn't get in the Ruthless Aggression line. Absolutely. And then up here, we do have some more, like, modern retros. And then uh, we got some Sarge over here. More, I love, like, all the little knickknacks and things like this, man. You don't really get a ton of this stuff anymore. You know, they used yeah. to just make a shish ton. Are these the original keychains right here, man? I, yeah, lo yeah, I the, love the those. Yeah, from, um... Those were awesome. I remember my brother and I had... I want to say the full set, but I remember... I think it was Food Max, bro. I think we bought them at Food Max. And me and my brother were in the back of my papa's truck that, like, the back seating, like, faces each other. Yeah. And we lost it in there. And our whole childhood, we were like, that keychain is in it's, papa's it's in truck, man. Somewhere. And it's, it's not in there, man. It's gone. <laughs> I don't See, know. It is, it, that's the cool thing about this stuff is how it just triggers these memories. Oh, yeah, for and sure. It's, and not, like, that memory has nothing to do with wrestling, but it's attached to something. You know what yeah, I mean? that's, that's so cool. That's the best. That's honestly the best part. And that's, I think I've talked about that before, like, a shoe it could be a shoe it could be a yeah. figure it kind of you know ties back in that memory and unlocks that core thing and that's why people buy stuff if you were talking yeah. that's yeah. why that's why yeah because it means something yes and so it has it's tangible it's crazy but in the middle here we have these details we went through them a little bit here we do have some uh, really good pieces on display here i see macho king back here got SummerSlam hogan uh i just bought that mr t basic gonna be selling it on whatnot so okay. somebody can go grab that one the but short sleeve or long sleeve so i sold the chase men on card okay. um on my last stream so i got the loose uh regular version this time so we'll nice. see how that goes really hope the edge and christian come back soon can't wait for them to come back and get some more figures so over here is uh the legends line in order behind you my bad so that's like the original legends line oh yeah, yeah yeah this is i like how you have austin holding up the shirt then we got you have even you have Superfly Snooker. I don't think we're ever gonna get another one of him. Nope. <laughs> we got Akeem. We got the Von Erics. Beautiful stuff. And then they, see, this is what's dumb is they're gonna. I, I'm telling you, they're gonna give us DDP, and it's gonna be in that gear right there, and I'm gonna we be pissed. Twice, I know we don't need to see we're it again, man. We don't need it. We don't need it. But then we have some tag teams over here, and then down here, I love these man. The t the 12 inch down there. Oh man, they're they're beautiful. <laughs> They really are. Like, look at this Triple H right here. We're really missing... You know how Marvel Legends does those 12-inch figures? Mm -hmm. Or they did, you know, for a time? We're missing some giant figures like that, man. And I know people are like, oh, we don't have any room. But F your room, man. Look at this. Look at this. That giant John Cena and Roman Reigns. I mean, these are closer to ring giants than these... You know, these these are ring giants. But, you know, these over here, like that 1-6 scale, I don't know. They're just underrated. Like, you know, the Knicks custom toys and, like, there's yeah. people that make these crazy customs. I would... Like, if they made WWE flashback figures of, you know, like, Hot Toys level figures... I was going to say, if Hot Toys made WWE figures... Unfortunately, I'd probably be in on Hot Toys, which is like something I really... <laughs> I mean, you'd have to sell. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. This whole detolf would pay for one, I guess. Jeez. But yeah, that's unfortunately, that's what it would be. You got some major pot stuff down here. And I think, I mean, that's pretty much it. We got some defining moments up here. And again, much like the Fig Vault, I would spend... Did you get the prototype stuff? Oh, yeah, the prototype stuff. Got to end it on the prototype stuff. But much like, you know, Fig Vault, he's got so much here, it would legitimately take up all the storage on my phone if I were to go and detail every single thing. But this is a really cool piece to end on. We do have like all this. Uh, we have some test shots in here. We have some unreleased things. We have some really beautiful pieces here. Is there anything that you'd like to point out? Yeah. So I love the um Rocky. Uh -huh, That's in the case. A, a hand painted resin prototype of uh, right. his first figure in alternate pose. I love that figure. I love this Hogan head. Actually, Matt Cardona gave that to me because I helped him um, get a Macho Man prototype. Okay. So that was his thank you. He sent me this unreleased Hogan head. This is an unreleased Stardust 
uh, create a superstar figure that never came out that was supposed to match the gold dust. Um, and you know, you can even see it's got the star on like, oh, yeah, like I see a, that. not the trunks, but whatever you like Captain America. And there's kind of stars incorporated all over it, which is really cool. It's cool. I'm I'm surprised. Little, I'm legitimately shocked that Mattel hasn't used that as a Cody, like repaint it and make it look yeah. like Cody. I remember people doing that. Yeah. You know, back when uh when he went to like Ring of Honor and stuff, they would take that Stardust head and make a modern Cody, and it looked pretty good. So I'm actually I shocked. The Stardust heads were great. Yeah, they really actually were. So um, you know, we did get the Elite 103, but then we also is this an official uh, Elite One Jeff or is this the Proto? No, that's like a that's like or the a, um, knockoff. Yeah, not or the knockoff, knockoff one. Yeah, it's a knockoff. Still pretty cool. Is this is that so? Is, the, is that Ron Simmons that's right there? Ron Simmons from um, Hall of Champions, and I'm pretty sure it has a different torso. I think that's it is. It does. It, it has yeah. the uh, you know that Sandow or Mizdow style torso, yeah. and then the official release had that ugly Sting torso. But it fits Ron Simmons. I don't hate it on Ron Simmons, but for Sting, I don't really care for it. That's the DM Warrior, but it's uh, blonde hair. I like that, actually. I actually like that more. I don't know yeah. if it's accurate, but I like it. Yeah, I like it, too. And you got um, One Man Gang back there. One Man Gang. This is an unreleased Build and Brawl uh, Beth Phoenix right here. Oh, this one. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh, nice, nice, nice. Um, and there was never a, a women's wrestler in the Build and Brawl line, so that's why I wanted it. I thought it was. Wow. Yeah, that is a cool piece of yeah. knowledge right there. I didn't ever know that, I don't think. I mean, like, now that I think about it, it's like, oh, yeah, but yeah. I never put that together. Um, and I, I just like the Zodiac figure, and I thought the head was pretty cool. Yeah, that is cool. I'm not personally one to like collect prototypes or test shots. If I were to find yeah. one, you know, for a good price or something, I'd probably pull the trigger on it. But I don't think it's something that fits my collection, I guess you could say. Yeah, I get it. But I think they're really cool pieces. Like I said, this is like kind of like a museum of different things. So that's why I, I, I just love it. And again, everybody's collection is very unique. That's why it's cool to follow different people because you can see their different interests first of all and then you can see their different personalities and you can see why they collect and how they collect and everybody has like different things so it's always really fun but i think that is pretty much going to wrap up the room man is there any final words you'd like to say here thanks for coming by brother i'm happy to have you man <laughs> Anyways, man, I think that's pretty much going to wrap up the Hill Cave Tour, man. I had a ton of fun. I appreciate Mike for having us over. Been an absolute blast, man. But, you know, uh, just like my videos, we got to get the hell out of here. So thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Huge shout out to our patron army. Appreciate all those guys over there. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support on the channel. But that is going to wrap the video, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.